How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? I'm your host, Seth Julian, welcoming you to today's morning copy briefing. I'm going to look at two assets today which are not normally on our clients' radars. They are bonds. We offer two uh, bond products here at Alvex. So the Euro bond, the, uh, the Ebund, the uh, German government 10-year bond, and the U.S. government 10-year bond. And they are uh, similar, although not identical. The German government bond is falling even faster than the U.S. government bond. Now, one of the reasons it's confusing and it's not on people's radar is that oftentimes the media gets this confused because they don't understand. They'll tell you that bond yields are up, and that would indicate to the layman that the that that bonds are doing well. Not the case. Bond yields um, move inversely to their price. As people want them more, they pay more for them, and then hence the yield, the return on the cost of the bond, goes down because the bond yield is fixed. It's a it's uh, fixed to the price of the bond. If you pay more for the bond, the percentage that you're getting in return, which is fixed, becomes lower. So as prices fall, the yield actually rises. So you really have to have that uh, confusion clear in your mind to understand bond prices. But what you don't need to really be a genius to understand is that bond prices fall when prices rise. Because that fixed return now lo no longer is attractive because inflation is rising. And one thing we know for sure, ladies and gentlemen, inflation is going to rise. It, no, no, it's, it's, already, it's already now in the uh, developed world uh, over 7%. Interest rates have not yet started to go up, and they will. The Fed's going to make us an announcement on Wednesday. Um, so there's going to be what they call a data dump this week. There's going to be a lot of data. The Central Bank of Europe is going to report out. They're going to be raising interest rates. And that's not the real reason for inflation. The real reason inflation that's going to come is as a result of the Ukrainian war. 16% uh, of the world's wheat comes from Russia and Ukraine. Excuse me, 29% of the world's wheat. 16% uh, of the world's total calorie output, including barley, uh, uh, rapeseed, canola oil. That stuff all comes from hung, uh, the Ukraine and Russia. That stuff is off the market. It's out. That's going to drive prices up wildly. Um, lithium, lithium, you know, Mother Russia produces a lot of resources and they're off the market. And so that uh, lack of um, uh, liquidity from a resource point of view is going to drive prices up. So bond prices are falling. Hence this chart. So this is a great short trade. Uh, it really is simple to understand. If you can get over the, the uh, complexity of the uh, interest rate, the uh, price of the bond rising and the yield falling and vice versa. This is a great short trade. The, the uh, fundamentals of it are fairly clear. The volume is rising, meaning that the sentiment behind this move is strong and likely to continue. And the underlying conditions for this uh, uh, inflation pessimism are not going to change anytime soon. So ladies and gentlemen, with that, uh, I'm going to bring today's session to a close. I'm your host, Seth Julian, wishing you all, ladies and gentlemen, the ability to trade with confidence. Bye-bye for now.